This is a video to show you how to access our online interactive whiteboard that we use through Bitpaper and how to receive calls for the first time. Now, once you've signed up and paid for an initial lesson with us, you'll receive an email that looks like this. On this email, I have the date of lesson and the link that you will use to access the interactive whiteboard. So you click on it like this. This will then take you to the whiteboard that the student will use for lessons and you will await your call. So if your lesson is at 6.30 and you're on a few minutes earlier, at 6.30 precisely, the tutor will call you. When they do, something will pop up on the left-hand side of the screen like this, which will say join call. In the first instance, when you click this, you are very unlikely to have an account with BitPaper already, so you'll have to create one. This process takes approximately 10 to 15 seconds. If you've already got a Google account on the PC, you click on Google, um, or if you prefer to use your email and password and sign up that way, you can do. I'm going to choose the simpler method just to show you. So this is my PC that I use myself. So I'm going to select my own account. And then I click the free option and I click subscribe. An account is created. And you can see, I can drag out the videos to the side like that. And if I activate the camera on the tutor side, you can see you will see your tutor on the screen like this. I'm going to deactivate now for the rest of this tutorial so you can see what the lesson is like. So I'm going to hang up the call and show you manually how things work. So. When you're on this page, a student has the ability to point their cursor to things and the tutor will see. The student has the ability to draw. So if a tutor asks a student to draw a cell structure, that can be done. And that can easily be undone by pressing Z on the keyboard. If the student wishes to type an answer to, let's say, an exam question, you can click on the T button here and write your answer in. And everything being done here is seen live by the tutor. So if the tutor sees this answer and it wishes to mark it, they will do so. You saw I just went on the side access panel here by clicking on the palette button, which allows a student to control the thickness of their pen, the opacity of a highlighter, and to move it. If a student wishes to go between pages, on the right here you can press the down arrow or on the keyboard you can press full stop to go forwards or comma to go back. You can see that loaded on this page is an exam question set by the tutor and this is something that tutors will do within lessons in order to assess students. If one of the questions requires drawing, of course the student is able to do this and if a student thinks they've made a mistake they can press Z to undo and undo can also be done by pressing the button in the bottom right hand side here. Um, copy and paste functionality is also possible within this platform so if a student's got an exam paper or something they've been working on that the tutor has set them from school they can copy and paste that image directly into the whiteboard. Now when it comes to the end of the lesson the tutor will take them here where they will be able to account for what the date is, the lesson is, what content has been covered, a grade if applicable, and really importantly, how to improve. And the beginning of the next lesson, the tutor will account for whether the student has improved in that particular area, what the new content is, and what their new areas for improvement are. This, in a nutshell, is how to use our interactive whiteboard. And if you have any questions at all on, on any other specifics, Please just um, email us and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you.